What's up, table tennis nerds? Welcome back to the Limitless channel. This is week six, part one of my series, Row to 1550 TTR. First of all, thank you for the support. It means a lot to us. It's really cool how this channel grows and you can expect great things to come. So here, training with Simon. If you don't know him yet, he has short pips on the backhand without sponge. I'm, uh, we started with spin spin in the forehand and then we switched to the backhand side uh, where he can put his pimples to, to use and defend a bit. Also, he did some offensive shots today with his pimples, which is very unusual. And um, as you can see, it's crazy. If they come, it's, it's good because uh, if you play them back normally, they will go into the net. If you counter them like you would counter a normal rubber uh, backhand shot. And here, I, this was the first time I tried out a new strategy, serving from the deep forehand side with a side spin serve, short into, into Simon's uh, forehand. Um, so I can position myself in the middle of the table. And most of the time, I'll be able to play a backhand ball then, which is the reason I do this, because I want to put my backhand more to work, simply because I trust it more and more and it gets better and better without even working much on it. And my forehand is, yeah, a big construction site. <laughs> and I lost a little bit of faith in it lately. And I think it takes a little longer to fix that. And in the meantime, I just want to use my backhand more. I think we have one or two games left in the season and then I, of course, going to play tournaments. But short term now, I, I want to try this to put my backhand more to work. And here I mix it up with serve I do all the time. But lately I try to, to get less side spin and more top spin in it and make it a little faster into the deep backhand side. Because most of the time then I get a backhand ball back into my backhand side which I like, which I uh, can use to open up my, my strong game a lot. So that's the reason I trained this in this session. And I think here we were already playing sets or, or no, Simon was doing serves. Yeah. First I was doing serves, I was training my serve strategy and now he's doing his serves. And this should be sets now. I was still a bit sick if you saw the video of the match day. Uh, this is two days after. And yeah, I got a little sicker after the Saturday, the match day. But actually, I went to training and if I would have felt super bad, I would stop. But I felt actually better moving. So I trained for like an hour, which was fine. And then I stopped. And my focus right now is a lot a lot on correct placement and footwork and getting ready for the next ball after i played a ball which is if i see it and also i got a really really nice detailed comment from a subscriber that i really appreciated and he said the same thing and i also remember matthias in the very first training session uh, I had with him, he's, he looked at me and he was like, I, I can already tell you that the biggest room for improvement short term will be your footwork. And boy, was you right. And that's what I really want to pay um, the most attention at right now. And with that uh, come many solutions to problems I have that uh, I'm very, way often I'm too late, especially for my forehand attacks, for my forehand balls. And then I play passive. I just return the ball in a passive way just because my stance is off and I'm not positioned well. So I really want to try to stand lower and move way more on my toes and always moving, constantly moving and be ready. And getting back to the ready position after I did a shot way faster instead of looking at the shot I just did, like look, following the ball. 
that I just play with my eyes and then and in the meantime not being ready for the return if it comes back which yeah, is a beginner mistake but yeah as I said before I am a beginner and uh, still consider myself a beginner in this game so yeah it's a big one if I can uh, stop doing that yeah, also against pips I really try to do a top spin and if if he gets me a heavy backspin ball back with the pips, I try to push one and then the next one topspin again. Yeah, this was a fun session. I'm glad I could play and not being that sick. Uh, guys, if you enjoy this video series, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can all, always leave comments, ask for specific videos, give me advice. I really appreciate that. And um, give a thumbs up and activate the notification bell. See you.